Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1042. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why markets like this are when fortunes are made, because that's not what we're hearing out there in the news. It's still bad news, bear market, never coming back, going lower, haven't seen the bottom yet. This is all I hear from just about everybody. And I have a completely different forecast. I'm seeing things already having bottomed the market already having turned, some very positive days ahead. In fact, almost a straight six months before a bigger pullback and then onto a two-year bull market. These are the times that big money is made. And if all you're listening to is negativity, you're gonna miss the bargains because right now the bargains really exist. The markets have come down. They were very overvalued. We had incredibly high price to sales numbers for technology. A lot of that has come down to very reasonable numbers. And as I've been reporting on other podcasts, strong growth tech companies like Google are now cheap. They're at 14 times earnings, so they're actually priced less than their growth rate. They're almost a value stock. In fact, they might get rebalanced into the value index. So times are a little bit crazy. We got one extreme on the upside, and I was leading you during 2020, telling you we were going to have a strong market on the upside when everybody else just about was saying depression, crash, we haven't bottomed, the same kind of thing that we're experiencing right now. They were all negative out there. And I was telling you, no, we're going higher and we're not gonna have any earnings to compare things to. And we've had a lot of stimulus, so that's gonna drive the market higher. And in fact, that's what happened. Now we're in a similar situation, except the Fed had their narrative where they were telling us they had to raise interest rates and raise interest rates very quickly because inflation was out of control when it was really not a demand problem. It was a supply problem and they've raised interest rates and well, it's just about stopped the money supply. In fact, it's gone negative now. And so they're actually going to have to reevaluate their situation. They've slowed down demand. They've caused some layoffs, particularly in the mortgage market. They've slowed down some of the housing market and some of the multiple offers have gone from 10 offers on a house to three offers on a house. So we're still in multiple offer situation, but it has cooled off quite a bit. And now people are starting to list their homes more because they're afraid they're going to miss this hot real estate market. So that's going to push more listings on the market. We'll get more supply. And that's good because we have too much demand in housing and that's what's causing the issues there. Not enough supply, too much demand. We need the listings to come on and even that out. But in a lot of the supply chain situation, there's really nothing we can do. I mean, we have the things that we've ordered and we're waiting for them. And sometimes they've been double ordered. So the demand might look higher than it actually is. But the reality is, is the supply is the problem because we can't get the supplies in. We can't get the boats unloaded. We can't get things out of China. There's different problems going on where it's really the supply side. And I believe it's a temporary inflation problem that's going to work its way through the system in a few months. So I think we're starting to see inflation not continue to increase at the rate it was. That's the first thing you notice is it doesn't go up as fast. That's the first indication. Then what you'll see is it starts slowing. And then what you'll see is it starts actually declining. So over the next few months, I anticipate that's going to happen. And that is going to continue to drive stocks higher. The stock market has been completely revalued in this latest sharp pullback. But that's all that this has been is a pullback. Yes, the S&P touched the minus 20% level, which technically 
gets it to bear market territory, but you're supposed to close down 20%, and it didn't do that. So again, technically not a bear market. We could argue that all day long, and that's a waste of time, because the real message I wanna give you is now is the time to buy low, to make some great investments. There's some great values in technology stocks and other special situations that I think six months from now, two years from now, you're gonna be really happy that you invested at these levels. And I wanted to tell you a story because I've been investing for a long time and I've been through a lot of different things. This particular correction feels very familiar to me because I remember a time that was very similar to this where it was a very sharp, fast, deep correction. And it seemed like my portfolio, which was mostly tech stocks at the time, was cut almost in half very quickly. And it was very scary and it was very mind numbing and emotionally painful. I had taken a long time to grow my portfolio to a really good size. And all of a sudden, just like that, it was almost half gone. And it was just like I was in a nightmare. It felt very unreal and it was not a good feeling. But somehow I managed to stay invested and not panic. And that was the best thing I could have done, was to remain invested in my portfolio. Because when the stock market started to rebound, and it did, those stocks started to bounce back first and fastest. And I was also able to make some other smart buys of cheap stocks that had gotten hit very hard, but were still fast growers, leaders in their industry, and selling for less than they had in a very long time. So readjusting and repositioning my portfolio, upgrading the quality of the investments that I owned, these things are strategies that you can use to reposition your portfolio so that your growth is even better coming out of this correction. Well, as I said, prices started rising and the results were dramatic. Before I knew it, my portfolio was back and then some. The parallels from where we are right now to the time I just described, feel very, very similar to me. I really believe we're going to have a sharp, strong rally from here that's gonna surprise a lot of people because they're still expecting this to just be a bear market bounce. They're not expecting this to be a strong bull market that's sustainable for a period of time, but that's exactly what I'm seeing. The worst thing that you can do is panic and sell. And those people that have sold are going to sadly sit on the sidelines and watch everybody else's portfolios rebound and go on to make new highs in the stock market in not that far off. So this is the time to get smart, make some changes, have some strategies, buy opportunistic investments, structure your portfolio soundly, have special opportunities, that you can participate in. And if that's something that you'd like me to help you with, you know I have the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP experience and that's exactly what I do. I give you a portfolio with exactly what percentages to invest in. I include 5% in cryptocurrencies and now we've included private equity for accredited investors. That means that we're now investing in private businesses at a fraction of what we think they will sell for when there's an initial public offering on the stock market. So that's an exciting new area that I've added to our investors in the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP experience. On a monthly basis, I'm giving webinars and reporting into you what's going on in the market, what's happening with investments, where opportunities can be found. On a weekly basis, you're getting status updates of special opportunities, of what's going on, which direction I see the market going, what you should be doing, when is a good time to buy, all of those things I'm helping giving you some direction on so that you can take advantage of special opportunities like this. Whether you have a 401k or IRAs or stock investments or cryptocurrencies, this is an amazing investment group that I think you will really love being a part of this community. And we even have international investors. We have people who live in Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Spain, the United Kingdom. It's just as applicable for people who live outside the US as it is for people who live inside the United States because there's massive opportunity right now. And I believe this is the best time to get yourself positioned to make an absolute fortune. If you've read either of my books, you know that compounding at a high rate is really the key to building wealth. 
If you have $100,000 to invest, for example, and you earned only 2% over 30 years, that $100,000 would grow to about $181,000. But if you could increase your rate of return to a 10% rate of return, which I think is very doable, over 30 years, your $100,000 initial investment would grow to $1.744 million. That's almost a $1.5 million difference because you're a better investor. It didn't take you any more money to invest. It didn't take any more time. It took understanding where to invest, what to invest in, and maybe having some good guidance to help you with that. And when you come into the VIP experience, you just join once and you have a membership for a lifetime with no additional cost. And right now until Memorial Day, I have a special for my podcast audience to save 50% when you check out using the promo code SAVE50 in all capital letters, S-A-V-E-5-0. Come on in, try it out. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, but I know you're going to love it. And I also have a great announcement to make today, and that is my audiobook of Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies, is now available. It's up on Amazon. You can just go and click on the audiobook. Then over on the left-hand side, it'll say Audible Sample. And I've got a five-minute recording there that you can listen to part of one of my chapters in the book. But I know many of you have been waiting for the audiobook, so it's here, it's available. Go get it on Amazon. There's a link in the show notes for you, as well as a link to the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP experience. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.